Howdy. Well, been another minute. Uh, geez, it's probably been about two weeks now since I last put up a video, but kind of been doing just little stuff here and there. Got the uh, engine bay touched up uh, with uh, some touch-up paint from touchupdirect.com and for 50 bucks, in all honesty, I was pretty happy with it. Uh, just kind of cleaned up some stains and stuff that were in there and as you can see now I got a wiring harness back in here. I uh, put the V8 wiring harness um, in the engine bay just today. Uh, just starting to put it in and then I also have a V8 harness in the car although it doesn't look like I don't know anything different from the last time because I've already taken the dash apart and put it all back together. Um, Kind of little stuff that, not nothing too crazy that's worth the video, you know. I took the dash harness apart and I put it all back together. Kind of made sure I would, did it in pieces so that way I started in the back and worked to the front so that way I knew where everything went. Um, so now I got a bunch of stuff to connect up. I'm gonna put in the master cylinder, brake booster, steering shaft. Um, get going on that. There's a big old hole for a transmission. Had to cut that out. Um, and all that I kind of documented on a thread on LS1 Tech. Um, other than that, nothing else too crazy here. I think that's just been about it uh, on the green car. Uh, starting to put stuff back in. I put the cruise control module back in. Um, just starting to put stuff back in instead of taking stuff out, including putting a V6 engine back in uh, a silver car. So I have this up for sale for the past three weeks. Haven't really got too much uh, noteworthy interest. So I decided, well, get it out of the way, put it back in the car and I needed to get a roller anyway, or get it, get the K member in there so that way I could roll the silver car around. So brother-in-law stopped by this weekend for some work in his car and decided, you know what? Let's put the V6 back in the silver car. So it wasn't too bad. I just only have it holding up by the six K member bolts, strut tower bolts, and the uh, automatic transmission uh, cross member. Um, so at least that's on the ground. I freed up some jacks. But other than that, that's been about it for the past two weeks. Just kind of working a little bit here, a little bit there. Not going to make much progress this week. Um, but I'm hoping to at least get the engine harness all done in uh, get the brake booster clutch master in there maybe get the dash back together and then get the rear end done i would like to get the uh, brakes swapped over um, get the fuel lines in get the brake lines in um, get to a point at least i'm hoping before the weekend i can get to a point where all i need to do is start working on the ls1 um, need to some heat going on. It's been a little chilly. The LS1, I need to do the rear main cover, um, rear main gasket, seal, rear main seal, do the the updated oil barbell plug back there, as well as get the clutch in. I have a new pilot bearing, get the clutch in. Uh, I got to swap, swap the T56 over to the LS1. And then I'm still waiting on headers. Uh, I have an LS6 intake coming and exhaust. We're getting there. See you in the next one.